Hi, my name is Peter Strauss. I'm here to teach you beginning bassoon. Today, we're going to learn how to open our case. So, this is really important, and we want you to make sure that you do it right so that you don't damage your instrument. I'm going to show you with three different cases to see how it works, and it's probably going to be the same on all of your cases, but I'm not sure what type of case you have. So, make sure that you watch all of these videos through here first before trying it on your own. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to determine what side is the upside. Now, this might seem tricky. I'm going to grab my camera and I'm going to show you what this might look like. So, with my case right here, you're going to notice a couple different things. So one, I have something on the top that helps me to know what side is up. Okay, so I have a sticker right here. But the telltale sign is always this. When I flip this switch, the latch goes up. When the latch goes up, that means that I know that this is the right side up. So when I do that, I open my case. And you'll see my bassoon sitting there. Now, one of the first things that you're going to want to do once you open up your bassoon case is take a picture with your phone or your Chromebook so that you know where everything goes because once you get it out you might not be able to put it back. So this is the first type of case that we have. When we close it we're gonna go like this and then the latch goes down and the latch goes down over here. Always make sure that the latches are latched all of the time never ever leave a case like this because if you do and you go to lift this up this is going to just open up and that bassoon is going to fall all over the ground and let me tell you i know from personal experience it's no fun so make sure that you're careful the next type of case that we have here is probably the case that most of you are going to have okay so again it has a latch over here when we flip this, it goes up. We flip this, it goes up. And then when we flip this one up here, that goes up as well, and that falls off. And that is how we open it up. This is probably what most of your bassoons are gonna look like. You're gonna have an area here that you can put items. You're gonna have a seat strap. You're gonna open this up. You can store your reeds and swabs there in that box. And then we'll have all the pieces of the bassoon. And again, make sure that you take a picture of this so that you know exactly how your bassoon should look when it goes in the case. The last type of case that we have is a zippered case, okay? Zippered cases are a lot of times given to you guys because maybe the old wooden case fell apart. The wooden cases are great, but a lot of times zippered cases are where uh, directors replace things. So we have this area up here. You can store your music in here and notice we have a little shoulder strap for the instrument. Make sure that you keep that done. And then here is our zipper. You're gonna notice that the, the top side is always smaller than the bottom side. So if you really pay attention right here, see that, how this right here is shorter than the top. Also, they wrote the names right here, so we know that that is the top. So we unzip it, and then we open it up like this. So here is our bassoon. We'll teach you the different parts later. You might have some compartments here. You have, might have an area to store your vocals over here. And some spots to hold your bassoon in place. If you have any questions, you might want to make sure that you log into a Zoom and ask your bassoon teacher or 
you can find me at peter.strauss at nisd.net. You can shoot me an email and I might be able to answer it for you as well. Thank you.